Nice view, isn't it? So where am I? Uh, I'm I'm uh, in uh, southern Norway. It's uh, it's New New Year's Eve tomorrow. Uh, I am. Uh, what you see out there is uh, the Oslo Fjord. Um, it's a very good area if you want to do a bit of uh, wild camping. That's kind of why I want to share this video, just to get a point of view of uh, Norwegian winter. Uh, welcome, I'll try to look at the... I'm not sure what... I don't remember the English word, but... Don't look at the monitor. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to my uh, channel. Uh, it's been something I've been uh, thinking about for a long, long time. Um, I call myself the, the Norwegian one. I'm not sure about that name yet. But anyways, uh, my real name is uh, Magnus. Uh, I'm Norwegian, as you probably already discovered. Yeah. You see Oslofjord, it's, uh, it's snowing a bit now. Uh, I'm not going to spend a long time here. As you've already seen, uh, you saw the fireplace. That's, uh, that's a place where I actually plan to do a bit of wild camping uh, in January. I don't know when, but maybe a couple of weeks or three weeks from now. I I'm a bit of a guy who who likes to do wild camping, but um, most of the time I do a lot of canoeing in the in the uh, summer season. Uh, so most probably you see many canoe videos in the future. Um, you know, I'm I'm bending here. It's hard for my knees. Uh, I think I'll I'll change spot. Just hang in there. There you go, that was much better. Yeah, I'm sitting, I'm actually sitting on on the bonfire pit. Built it a couple of months ago. I haven't been here for a couple of months, uh, but as you've seen, I've, I've stacked some wood here and there. And uh, to my surprise, it still stands. But it also shows me that uh, the spot that I've been looking for or is is a decent spot and maybe the wind isn't uh, howling through here because I'm actually on a on a cliff. Uh, my my channel is you know I'm not an experienced bushcrafter. I never winter camped before. I, I think I did it in the army twenty years ago. Um, almost twenty years ago. Uh, when the army was a mandatory thing for uh, young men, 19, 20 years old. We did some winter camping then, you know, but it's a long time ago and uh, I didn't really like spending time in, in nature like I've, I've done for the past years. I'm just a guy who likes spending time in nature, really, uh, especially Especially when I got to my 30s, you know, things happen from your 20s to your 30s. <laughs> you kind of like to, you know, you, you kind of lose some interests and get new interests. And I guess being in nature is not just the sense of, of beauty and, and, and stuff like that. It's just solitude, uh, tranquility. <laughs> Um, just breathing uh, the fresh air and just just feeling that your senses uh, kind of are awoken, uh, I would say. Yeah, um, yeah, what can I say? Uh, just, uh, I th this is just an experiment for me. I haven't really... I don't follow a manuscript or anything, I've just, you know, but I've vision, visualized this a bit 
or what to say and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, you hear me ranting on. I just uh, want to to prepare that maybe I'll do a, a video of this later on. Uh, I'm not if you. I'm not sure if you see it on camera, but uh, the daylight is is fading away. It's gonna be dark pretty soon, uh, and actually, I'm actually just gonna spend here a very short time. I just wanted to check out how my wood stackings were doing and they're pretty much there where I left them. I mean in a in a, in a decent sized forest really. Uh, in Norway we can uh, uh, you know we can camp pretty much everywhere we want. Um, we call it Alla Monseretten. And that means that you can camp wherever you want. There are exceptions, or there are regulations. The regulation says that you have to be at least 150 meters away from the closest uh, residence, or you know stuff like that. You you can't camp on uh, farm fields and uh, in people's backyards. Hence the 150 meter. Uh, distance thing uh, you know and you can take all dead wood you want and, and make bonfire uh, well anyway, anyways I can make a bonfire if I want to uh, there's a local farmer who owns this land but he, he can't stop me from camping in this woods I don't have to apply for permission or anything like that uh, you know but all, all landowners know this and they they can't do anything if you, if you camp in their woods or, or something like that. So this is a very good spot. I really like it. I've been searching my um, close area. Uh, I'm just gonna hang out here. I'm not uh, planning on uh, having a bonfire. I have my fire still and stuff like that. I can, I can show you. <laughs> you know, I don't have time because I have to go home. I'm gonna watch a football game. <laughs> It's proof that I've been to, I've done some camping. I've had this for, uh, I don't know, a couple of years maybe. But yeah, it, it works, you know. And YouTube taught me how to use it. And since then I haven't used matches or a lighter. I have some birch with me that I've dried at home. But, like I said, I'm not going to do any bonfire today. But, two or three weeks, I'll be back here and I'll uh, camp. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to wear uh, thicker wool socks than I have now, because my feet are cold. But the rest of my body, I'm pretty warm. So. Uh, what can I say? If you subscribe, if you want to see uh, things in this video in the future, you know, just subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Uh, I'll see if I have time to to comment your comments or yeah. But I'll be back two or three weeks from now.